Welcome and thank you for joining us. I am Mike Jeffries, the play-by-play -play voice here at Barry Wrestling, and this is Getting to Know. We're getting to know a little bit more about the wrestlers and talent that make Barry great. Today I'm being joined by Crystal Moon. Crystal, thank you so much for joining me. Thanks for having me. So, first things first, where are you from and how long have you been wrestling? So, I'm originally from Sault Ste. Marie, um, but I moved down to Kitchener for wrestling, uh, and I've been wrestling for six years uh, this May. Six years. And Sault Ste. That's a, Sault Ste. Marie to Kitchener is... That's a it's a track. Long move. Yeah, it's about it's about eight hours, yeah, give I or guess, take. I guess, yeah, I guess I'm thinking Sault Ste. Marie from here. Yeah, so yeah, it's not that crazy, but that's a long. It's it's long yeah. Trip. And uh, what brought you to Barry Wrestling initially? Um, honestly, it's the roster. It definitely has one of uh, the best rosters in Ontario. Um, the crowd is always loud and excited and want to be here. They're always cheering, booing. Uh, maybe not for the right people, but um, uh, yeah, they're always loud and vocal, and that's the environment that I want to be around. So, because your debut was with Haley Dillon, which turned into the six the, man, yeah, play, right? Okay, yes, yeah. So that was just in the past. Well, that's just, that was just a few months ago. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah a couple months ago. New to us. Yeah. Yep. And then, what were your first impressions aside from the fans maybe not cheering for the right people? <laughs> what were your first impressions of Barry Wrestling? They, they did boo me, so I'm not happy about that, Barry, wrestling fans. Um, but no, the atmosphere's great. Uh, the locker room's great. People are great. Um, it's fun. And uh, now I'm here, so it's even better. Yes, that's, that <laughs> is true. So for those of you who haven't seen or uh, uh, many Crystal Moon matches or maybe aren't familiar with you, mm -hmm. what should they expect from a Crystal Moon match? I'm going to handle business one way or another. Um maybe some tactics that some people don't agree with, but I'm going to get the job done. Um, I'm usually the smallest person in the match, but I always uh, put up a fight uh, one way or another. So, Even with Matt Grant? That's fair. <laughs> Sorry, I think I'm the mus that. I think I'm the muscle in that. I've never been a mus the muscle ever, but I think in Empi Empire, I think I'm the muscle. See, one short king to another. I, I have respect. <laughs> um, so you, you mentioned Empire. That's a great yep. segue to my next question. Okay. So you you often team with Matt Grant and uh, sorry JT Kirk. Mm -hmm. How did that come about? How did that trio start and form? Yeah, so um, Matt and JT obviously were in Empire uh, before I was involved. They're, they're brothers, actually. So um, they were doing it for a while. Um, and Matt is one of my uh, best friends inside and outside of wrestling. Um, and we had been talking about it for a while. Um, and he thought, he's like, you know what? Like, you have the right look, personality. You're my best friend. Why don't I want to travel with you? Um, and we kind of talked about it. And we decided, like, let's give it a shot. We don't know. There's not very, at the time, there wasn't very many trios that had mixed men and women right so we're like you know what we're gonna stand out this is this is the vibe that we're going for um and we decided to to go with it and that was pff, three years ago four years ago now and we're just keep rolling so it's working out now i know it never happened here mm -hmm. but did you guys ever work with the riot makers when they were no because now i'm just if you want to talk about past future dream match so riot makers those you don't know was mark wheeler holden albright sometimes stratosphere but yeah. here in barry it was those two and jody, jody yeah and that you want to talk about a six-person mixed tag match? That's a that, dream match. I mean, hey, if we want to call back to it, I know the the rest of Empire would be completely down to do that. So, hey, I'm uh, I'll I'll wait for that match for sure. That'd be awesome. You know, <laughs> you've worked a lot of singles matches and yep. trios matches. Mm -hmm. The preparation, like between the two of them, like what, like what is the difference as far as like a pressure? Like you don't want to let your team down versus an individual where it's all on you. Like how do you? Does it change the preparation for those matches or? In a way, yes. So for singles, obviously, it's it's all on me. I have to go out there and get the job done. I have to do the tape. I gotta watch who I'm who I'm wrestling, um, and that's all on me. Um, whereas in a trios, I definitely have to. I have more people to rely on, but at the same time, I have to make sure that my partners are on the same level as me. So sometimes that can be a little bit more stressful because I I know what I'm doing. I know my um, where I'm at, how I'm feeling that day. But in a trios, I have to be like Matt, you good? JT, you're good, yeah? If not, I gotta get one of them in check and be like, smarten up. So sometimes I may have to be the mothering figure and be like, boys, <laughs> knock it off, let's go handle business. Um, so yeah, the preparation um, is definitely a little bit different, um, but oh, it's always stressful. <laughs> so I, have to, I have to ask, cause I, I was looking at your Instagram, I see that you have your dogs, right? Yes. So who listens better, Matt and JT or your, or your dogs? Oh, my dogs. Okay. Yeah, 100%, 100%. <laughs> 100%. <laughs> Not, no, not even, a question. not even a question. Not you know Matt Grant. Are you kidding? 
Oh, you're gonna get me hurt. <laughs> Uh, he's, like, he's not the biggest guy, but he is tough, and he, I feel like he will not stop coming. But he's and he's mouthy. Like he knows that's his tough. The toughest weapon is he knows how to cut you down with his words. I, so uh, I, I I played sports all my life, and I have often written checks that my teammates had to cash because I'll run my mouth, but I can't really back it up. That's, he can kind of back it up, yeah. but that's Matt Grant. I can, I <laughs> Love him, <cannot>. but <laughs> so. So, moving, uh, changing uh, course a little bit. So, I saw that you recently posted on Twitter that you passed the seven-year anniversary of you sending the email to, yes. to Ben Ortman's and Crossbody to start your training. Mm -hmm. So, you know, Big Ben, beloved here in Barrie. Mm -hmm. What has he done for your career? And, like, what like what was that like training with him? Oh, he changed my life completely. Like, I... Uh... I'm not, like, when I first started training, I wasn't the most athletic person. Like, I played hockey, but um, I only played for a little bit. Um, and growing up, I did have a lot of health problems, so I wasn't always the most athletic person. Um, but I went for it. I wanted to wanted to wrestle, and uh, Ben never gave up on me, even when he probably should have a couple times. Um, I would have, and I did, but he just kept pushing me. And another one of my uh, coaches is uh, Chris Tidwell, uh, another big uh huge guy here uh, at Barry, so they definitely pushed me to succeed and uh, never stopped um, believing in me when they probably should have, like I said, and uh, yeah, I am who I am because of them, so. Yeah, Notorious TID who had his, his final show, his final match here. Yep. And sorry, my memory's terrible. Were you here for I wasn't. I was elsewhere, and I was very, very sad oh. that I had to miss it, but I saw all the pictures, and I heard from a couple of uh, other crossbody students that were here, so. And if you have an IWTV account, you can, yes. you can look it up, IWTV, independentwrestling.tv. Use the code Barry400. Tell them we sent you, and you can mm -hmm. watch Notorious TID's final match and a bunch of Crystal Moon matches while you're on there as well. Yes. And occasionally some Matt Grant. <laughs> so... <laughs> Now, you know, I looked at that initial email, and you seem like a friendly, happy person. Mm -hmm. And you, over the years, you have become now heartless Crystal Moon. Yes. How did that transition happen? So, yeah, when I when I obviously wrote that email, um, I didn't know the, the wrestling business, and I didn't know um, what really I was getting myself into. And even when I first started trading and first started wrestling, I was happy-go-lucky. I was just happy to be here. Um, I just wanted to do anything and everything and just really, really happy. And oh, I can't believe I'm a part of this. And uh, I think I kind of had rose-colored glasses on for a little bit. Um, and then I realized uh, that I kind of kind of doesn't work sometimes, and I kind of do what I have to do what I have to do to get the job done and to succeed. Um, and unfortunately, if I have to step on a couple of people, I'm going to do that um, because I want to make it in this business. And uh, sometimes you can't have a heart. So that's why I just ripped my own heart out and said, you know what? I'm just here to wrestle. There's no emotion to it. And that, that's that's fair. Yeah. You literally stepped on people last month. with. Uh, I with did. SCD. You stepped on her hair and pulled. Yeah, I did. I stepped on her a couple times. So. It looked like it hurt. Yeah. I guess that's part of the job. Exactly. So now today, by the time you guys watch this match, it'll already have happened, but later today you are wrestling Taylor Rising for the Barry Wrestling Women's Championship. Mm -hmm. Now you have held a couple of women's championships yes. across Ontario, so you know what it takes to win. Mm -hmm. So first question, what are you going to, you know, what is it going to take for you to beat Taylor Rising tonight? Mm -hmm. And second, will we see a one-on-one -on -one match or will we maybe see other members of Empire get involved as they have in the past? You know what? Empire is always lurking, but I'm going to get the job done one way or another. Um, that's all I have to say, and I will be the new Barry Women's Champion. Um, but in terms of Taylor, she is definitely um, a strong competitor. Like you said, she is undefeated, and uh, she's one of the top right now. She's really killing it. She's been everywhere, and I'll give her I'll give her credit where credit's due. Um, I respect her, and uh, but uh, I'm out for that title, and I will do whatever it takes um, to take that title home and add another one to my collection. I, I would not bet against you, especially <laughs> sitting beside you. Um, so we're, we're about a third of the way through 2023. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you're still new here in Barry. I'm not just talking about Barry. So in your wrestling career, to look back on 2023 when you get to the end of it, mm -hmm. what would make this year a success? Like, what is a goal you have so you can look back as Crystal Moon and be like, this was a good year? I definitely, like, we'll talk about the terms of Barry. Like, I obviously want to be a mainstay here in, in Barry, so fingers crossed and I bring that title so maybe I'll come back um, but definitely be back uh, in Barrie um, but honestly I just want to travel um, get my name out there I would love to travel more in the States um, I have a couple coming up but definitely want to go there um, 
yeah, and just wrestle as much as I can. Wrestle every weekend. That's the that's the goal. Um, both singles, trios, and and tag. Um, I'll I'll go anywhere and I'll wrestle anybody. That's pretty much what I want to do. So. Awesome. Well, on that note, for people to find you so they can book you for these shows, <laughs> where can everybody find you on social media? So it's my handle for everything: Twitter, Instagram. Um, so it's Crystal Moon underscore PW. Um, yeah, you'll find me there and. Uh, yeah, just shoot me a message and uh, yeah, that's pretty so much yeah, it. If you're a fan of another organization, you work with them and you're watching this, first off, thank you. Second, book this woman. She is tough. She she doesn't always have trouble with Matt, okay? Like, you can, <laughs> if you want to book them too, they, they, they're they good wrestlers, but you know, you don't have to book his mouth as well. That's true. She that's can true. carry your own bag. <laughs> She's good on her own. Yeah. Um, Crystal, thank you so much for joining us. It's been a pleasure. I am Mike Jeffries. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Mike Jeffries PA. That's J E F F R I E S P A, all one word. And uh, yeah, no, thank you so much. This has been getting to know Crystal. It's been a pleasure. Thank you so much for having Best me. Best of luck tonight. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you again soon.